tonight I just want to do like a video a diary I guess versus um, writing it down in my journal um, there's a lot going on emotionally with me um, and I just sit here and think that I sort of wrote it so you know sometimes the pain and hurt of your past can taunt you for years and years and you are not even aware just like mentally aware that it's still sitting dormant in you you know there's times when you thought to yourself you know that's over that's old news and I'm over that but come to find out you never really got over it you never healed from it you know you just um, suppressed your feelings um, you suppressed your emotions you ignored them you just hardened your heart to it and you know how they say you either fight or flight we took flight from it um, or just in that situation and just continue on in your life like this situation has never happened so you carry around this unrecognizable to yourself behavior you know you get this attitude that you know I'm fine it's everybody else around me that's crazy then you come to find out because you took flight to the situation all these past feelings and emotions start arising once God makes you get in that situation now that a certain situation has resurfaced and you have to face it if you start feeling the same feelings of how you felt when you initially went through it if you feel an anger if you feel in grief if you're feeling that your soul is just crushed if you're feeling that it's overwhelming then it means you never really healed from that situation and I understand um, now since I allow myself to walk in the spirit and walk allowing the Holy Spirit to guide me and to direct me because it was a time Vena would have cut you up and down would have cussed you out would be out here fighting I'd be out here tearing up your mama's name house I'd probably be somewhere in the back of a car but then you get to a place in God and it's like okay I can't do all these things I used to do that would help me mentally that I feel that I need to do to get back at a specific individual um, so now I'm dealing with it is kind of like okay I can't go act out I can't get out of character because now I have changed partners you know I, I was very worldly and now I've crossed over to Christendom and it is much better overall because when I sit here and I think about all the dumb stuff I done back then oh my god it, it just don't make sense so now I see my own error in my own eyes myself not anybody else um, but it, it's, it's something that 
you've been carrying around this anger, this hurt, this disappointment, you know, you have trust issues, you're acting out and don't even know that you're acting out. You know, that's major. Um, but God is saying to me in this season, this is your window of opportunity to reface that thing that has had you in bondage all these years I didn't know I was in bondage all these years I didn't know I had suppressed hate all these years I didn't know that I had trust issues but it came to my memory once I started recognizing feelings that I thought was well beyond me. Um, the Lord will put you in some places where you have no clue that he's going to put you in. So the only thing that I can say is allow yourself to heal and that's what I'm saying to me this is really my first time um, I guess discussing it or talking about it allow yourself to heal um, so you can be set free and the chains can be broken that's just my little word for today um, or for tonight I understand that I have to speak these things out of my mouth and not sit here in my own introvert way hold everything in I'm the type of person I never let anything out I'm almost like that secret commercial I never let them see me sweat I can be in these past years where I've been trying to get my anger and all that in control which I have when I think of some of the stuff that people have gotten away with, with me being silent, but well, as I've been silent, I've been internally dealing with it. I just kind of flipped the script. I used to show out, you know, like I said, with the fighting and the cussing and the constant attacks. Um, but now it's kind of like I went from A to Z and now I'm totally silent, but I battle it here. And I battle it here and that's not good either and now it's almost like I'm being reverted back to okay now you have to face the same situation you have to do what I tell you to do in this situation you have to love your enemies that thing is so real Everything in your brain is going to fight against that. It doesn't make sense to your coral mind. But my only job and our only job is to walk in instant obedience to what he has said. And what I've had to learn is I can't look at a person. That's my dog barking back. I can't look at a person and be angry, so angry at this person that I miss that these people actually belong to God, okay? Um, I have to bypass the person and what they did, come back around full force, full level, and I've had to learn to become the bigger person and look at this individual as a soul. It was um, so clear. And I'm like, I've never got to the point to where, okay, how can you love your enemy? What exactly does that look like? How can you love your enemy? How can you pray for your enemy? And, but this is a season to where I'm actually walking through it so what I want to do is I just want to video it to see my progress um, 
Very weird situations. Very weird. Okay. Never in a million years would I have thought that I am still holding on to past hurt until I had to face it. And everything from my past is rising up. And now, where I used to hear, go and attack, go and get revenge, now I hear, allow me to heal you. Allow me to walk with you through this process. Let me tell you what to say and do. Totally different for me, okay? So, as this has helped me, I hope it can help someone. Um, we all have stories. We all have um, stories and how we deal with things and how we process things. But um, I hope this helps. This is just me, no makeup, pajamas, it's late night, and this is how God is dealing with me at this particular time. It was too much to write in my journal, so I would rather video it so I can recognize, wow, I have definitely made progress. I am definitely going to allow, I've made a conscious decision, yes Lord, I want you to help me heal. I can't do it by myself, obviously. If I've been carrying this around for over 11 years, I can't do it. And you've brought me to this situation, to now, your window of opportunity is open now for me to be healed for me to be healed from it not to suppress it not to ignore it not to flight it because normally I would flight it and I'd be in Europe I would be somewhere on the beach I would be somewhere on somebody's ocean I'd be in the Caribbean just gone trying to just have a change of scenery and I didn't even know and recognize that was what I was doing. Why well, I thought I was just getting away to just get my mind clear from present day. But actually, it stemmed from past day. So, um, this is step one. I've made a conscious decision, like I said, to allow God to heal me so this is part one let's see where part two goes all right thank you for your listening ear bye now